Now, this one is a very easy one. In the following questions, letters are given in the first line and numbers are given in the second line. Numbers are codes for letters and letters are codes for numbers. Choose the correct code as your answer from amongst the suggested options 1, 2, 3 and 4. See, what are they doing? For each uh, letter, no, they are using a number, that's all. See, J is coded as 1 and uh, uh, U is coded as 9, P is coded as 2, right? And I is coded as 8. So, 1, 9, 2, 8, correct? Two options you have like that. Then uh, T, uh, J, U, P, A, T, T is coded as 0 and uh, E is coded as 7. So, this is the option, option B. Right, 1928074. Basically, for each letter you are using, I mean, for yeah, for each letter you are using a number. Same way, ampute. Ampute, what will be for A? A is 3, M is 5, then P is 2, U is 9. So you have 3, 5, 2, 9. 3, 5, 2, 9. Okay, these two options are there. Then you have A, M, P, U. U is 9. Okay, T. T is 0. And then you have E is 7. So, 352907. This is your answer. Correct? Second one, answer is B. In a certain code language, changed is written as this. How is females written in that code? Try it and give me the answer. So, what is the pattern that is followed here? C H A N G E D. Changed is coded as D J F Q G G J. So, see it is basically a crisscross uh, pattern it is being followed. Here you have C plus 3 is C, D, E, F, correct? C plus 3. Similarly, A plus 3 is D, A, B, C and then D. H plus 2, H, I, J. So, plus 2 here. Again, N plus 3 is Q. Here you have G plus 3 is J. Plus 3 plus 2. So, that is the pattern that is followed here. So, similarly, how will you code the word uh, female? F E M A L E S. Females is coded as, again, do a crisscross here, here also. So, F plus 3, that is going to be I, G H and I, then M, N O N P. Here it is plus 2, plus 3. Uh, so, E, F and G. So, again here it is plus 3 means it is going to be D. Plus 3 means S, T, U and V. Here it is again plus 3, O, plus 2, G. So, that is the answer that you are looking at. That is P, G, I, D, V, G, O. Option C. Okay. See what is given here? Machine, M, A, C, H, I, N, E. Right, machine is coded as 19, 7, 9, 14, 15, 20, 11. The logic used here is this. See, what is the position of M in the alphabetical order? It is 13. Position of A, 1. It is the first letter in the alphabet, right? 3. Position of H is 8 and so on, okay? Now, 13 plus 6. 13 plus 6 is giving me 19. 1 plus 6 is giving me 7. 3 plus 6 is giving me 9. And 8 plus 6 gives you 14. So, this is what is coming in the code. See, you are looking in the position of each of these letters in the English alphabet. And you are adding 6 to it. And that is what get as the code. So, this will be 11. <coughs> Similarly, you have to do the same for danger. D-A-N-G-E-R. Okay. Now, what is the position of D? Position of D is 4. Correct. So, 4 plus 6. That is going to give you 10. Directly take this as the answer. Don't waste your time finding out everything. If you look at the options, first two options are start. These two options are starting with 13, and this option is starting with 11. And there is only one option which starts with 10. So take that as your answer. Okay. The only thing here is you need to get this logic. Once you get the logic, then don't waste your time. Yes. Okay. So the correct answer for this question will be option C. 10, 7, 20, 13. 11.24. Next one. Again, this question was posted by uh, one of our students. This was part of our tests. Okay, so this one, uh, actually, it's a very easy question. See how you do it is, you have to find out the code for sing. Correct? Now, look at the word snip here. S-N-I-P. 
P is there. Now, in this word sing, right, you have S, I, N. These three letters are common. Only P is getting, becoming G. Okay. Now, look at this word snip and gape, which is the common letter here. The common letter here is P. If you compare uh, both these words, the common letter here is P. And if you actually compare the codes, okay, you can see that the only common uh, thing that between these two codes is 5. So, I can say the code for P is 5. So, when you look at the word SNP, right, SNIP, I can say that the code for SNI is 9 and 7 hash. Basically, these three numbers are there as the, I mean, these three are there as the code for these letters S and I. Now, don't uh, try to find out which is the code for H, which is the code for N, which is the code for I. That is not required here. Next, uh, you need to find out the code for G. Again, uh, if you compare these two words, gust and gape, right, uh, which is the G is only thing that is common, gust and gape. G is the only letter that is common in these two and the only symbol that is common is dollar. So, I can say that G is coded as dollar. So, when I look at a word sing, right, what should be my, what should, uh, which all numbers or letters should come in the code? I should have a 9, I should have a 7, I should have a hash and I should have a dollar. Now order, right now I am not looking at, I just know that these four have to be there. There is only one option which has all these four, that is option A. Directly mark that as the answer. Yes, don't waste time actually finding out what is the code for S, what is the code for I, not required in this question. Okay, see you need a word sing, you have a word snip. So find out the code of P, then you know what are the other numbers that you require. Again, at that point itself, you should get the answer, right? 9, 7 and hash. See, when you know that SNI stands for 9, 7 and hash, you needn't even find out what G stands for because there is only one option which has 9, 7 and hash, correct? There is no other option that has that. So, at this point itself, mark the answer. Don't waste your time doing this. This is also not required. Directly at this point, you will get the answer, okay? These questions are very easy. The definitely, I am sure all of you will get this question correctly in the examination. The important thing here is, uh, I mean, you have to do it fast, right? How fast you do it is also important because such questions are mark scoring questions and you should definitely solve them in a smart way, okay? It says global is coded as 36, then what will be the code for temple? Now, we have tried many such questions already and these are all very old question types, but you never know. Coding and decoding is one topic where there are infinite ways of, you know, framing the question. So you never know what the logic is. Now, what do you think 36 could mean here? I think the first thing that all of us should and must try is the positioning here, right? Go by the letter, positioning of the letters. So 7th letter, 12th letter, 15th letter, 2nd letter, 1st letter and 12th letter, right? I'm sure all of you have learned these numerical positions by heart, right? Numerical positions of all the letters in the alphabet. So 7 plus 12, 19. 19 plus 15, 34 plus 2. Uh, 36 plus 1, 37. Plus 12, 49. Now this is 49. So adding up the positions doesn't give us any clue there, right? We are getting the rule as 49. So that cannot be the logic. What else can be the logic? Multiplication, of course, is ruled out. Uh... I don't know. That's how it is. Trial and error. So we tried with something, it didn't work out. Uh, the the one thing that again I can think of is there are six letters here. Count of letters: one, two, three, four, five, six, and thirty-six actually is six square. So maybe the code of the given word is square of the number of letters in the word. So in that way, if you have to find out the code for temple. Uh, oh, again, six letters, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be six squared, 36. And it is there in the option. So I will mark option D, 36 in the exam. Remember, I may or may not be true. This is too trivial. If you look at the logic, it's, it's very, very simple. Six letters, six squared. Now, I would have been really sure about my answer if there were one more word given to us. Like global is 36, paint is 25, then what is temple? Now, paint has got five letters. So five squared, 25. Very gets verified, right? So I can be sure that the logic is working not for one word, but for two words, right? But since only one word is given and I don't have too much of freedom to uh, verify my logic there, I would mark 36 and go ahead. Maybe true, but I should be prepared to lose 
0.25 marks if I go wrong. But I cannot think of anything else.